Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a Dinobots figure, and it is Dinobot Snarl. This was a Walmart exclusive figure, and I think he's also known as Dinobot Striker, um, in Beast Wars Dinobot Razorback, I believe. This figure has been used a few times, kind of like the Triceradon mold or the Gilidarte mold. Uh, we've seen this guy a bunch of times in the Dinobots line, the Transformers Universe, Beast Wars, uh, Beast Wars Neo. It's kind of one of those fun little Dinobot uh, molds that we like to see over and over again. And I had this figure and I lost him in a move and I was glad to get him back. Thanks to a friend of mine, uh, Sean David, uh, he's got a great vintage Transformers uh, Facebook page. Definitely check him out in the links down below and the clickety clicks down there. Uh, the Sport and Morton uh, vintage Transformers and other toys. Uh, definitely check him out. Good prices, fast delivery, and the figures, as you can see, are immaculate. So thank you, Sean. I do appreciate it, sir. So this guy. This is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, the I think Striker was kind of a darker green with some gold up here. Um, Snarl was more of a G1 homage where it had the silver and the red and the gold on him, which is cool. He is obviously a Stegosaurus and definitely looks nice. I like him. Um, it is a Beast Wars style figure, which, which, which is fine. It's cool. I love the organic on him. Uh, you know, he's got the gold down at the feet. He does have a little bit of robot kibble, but that's okay. I mean, this is an older mold, so you can't get too terribly upset about that. Um, but I do like the overall design. I think it's really cool, very nice, very, very well done. Um, this figure does have a few different um, modes in it. It's kind of the front side, the back side. It has a trap mode. It also has the robot mode. Um, as far as the stegosaur mode, there is zero articulation in the head itself. You do have a ball joint here. There's a little bit of articulation in the hips, but other than that, he's pretty much stagnant. I mean, I mean, this is it. This is what you get, but that's not a bad thing. Um, so before we go into the trap mode, let's compare him to uh, a few different versions of Triceradon and COA stacks up. All right, so here we have Dinobot Snarl in uh, a herd of Triceratopsin, and <laughs> definitely cool stuff. Uh, of course, this is the Walmart exclusive uh, Snarl figure, uh, or if you want to call him Striker, or if you want to call him Razorback, whatever you want to call him. Um, this is the original Beast Wars Gilidarte figure. Um, here we have a, a Universe Triceradon figure, and then this is the Age of Extinction uh, slug figure, uh, which, I mean, they all look really, really good together. I want to get as many of these Triceradons as possible, and I also want to get as many of these uh, stegosaurs as possible as well. I think it'd be nice little fun Dinobot herd to get together. And I mean, they all look really cool together. So let's go ahead and get Snarl into his trap mode and see what we think about that. All right, so here we have Snarl, AKA Striker in his trap mode and it's weird. It is very, 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 very weird. It's supposed to be some kind of carnivorous plant from the era of the dinosaurs. And it does look interesting with the white and the green. It's got kind of this metallic paint to it. Uh, but it's just very, very, very odd. Um, as you can see, it just, I don't know, it's just kind of kind of weird. And then you also get the skull of the stegosaur that drops out of the head and i don't know this thing i'm not sure what this is about um i think the quote unquote trap mode to triceradon is better it's a 
dead dinosaur. I can see a dinosaur playing dead. It's laying there. Another animal comes up to it and goes, oh, what's this, a dead animal? And it transforms into the robot and attacks. This is just strange. It's supposed to be some kind of carnivorous plant, but it's coming up out of a stegosaur, and the stegosaur skull is dropped out of the head. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think this is just kind of a fail, really. Very strange stuff. So let's go ahead and get Snarl into his robot mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have Dinobot Snarl, a.k.a. Striker, in his robot mode, and wow, he is very, very, very strange. Very different, very unique. He pretty much looks like a Native American Indian chief, which I don't know why they went there with this character, um, but okay, sure, I'll go with it. Um, he does look cool, and that's an interesting motif, and I don't know, maybe the Native American culture, you've got paleontology, study of ancient animals, those kind of things all come together, maybe? I don't know, it's a stretch. But anyway, so here he is, um, looking at him, it's kind of a close-up. Here he is with his uh, Indian head garb, uh, looking very cool. He has these nice metallic blue eyes. I do appreciate that. He's got his stegosaur skull, and then underneath that, if you flip it up, we have the Autobot logo. Behind that is actually the Dinobot crystal that Stryker would have. And if this was a Beast Wars uh, figure, he would have a, I believe, a Maximal logo if he was Razorback. And he's got this kind of a tail feather uh, crotch piece at his hands. His uh, dino feet kind of sit on top of his robot feet, which actually look very Age of Extinction to me. Um, and then on the back, his stegosaur plates actually kind of look like the headdress for a Native American chief, which is very, very interesting to me. That's just very strange, very different, and if I can get this thing to stand, he does not stand very well, which is very sad. If I can, ah, uh, come on guy, do it. All right, I'm going to get this guy to stand off camera. All right, so here we have him standing back once again in robot mode. I mean, he will stand. It just kind of takes a little manipulating to get him to balance quite right. Again, this is one of those figures that really needs heel spurs. Uh, but it's an older figure. I mean, this is from like the late 90s, I think. Uh, so mid to late 90s. So you can't really complain too terribly much about him. Uh, now, he's supposed to use this as his weapon. There is a little piece for that to fit into his fist, and then he just kind of holds it as such, and, well, that just absolutely looks ridiculous. So <laughs> I'm not really going to put it on there. Um, yeah, is this a figure that you want in your collection? If you can get this guy really cheap, sure, why not? Especially if you are a Beast Wars fan or if you are a Dinobots fan, uh, you're trying to make a herd collection then yes, this is something that you want. Not for the robot mode per se, because it's kind of weird, but you definitely want the Stegosaur for your Dinobot collection. Uh, so there he is, Dinobot Snarl, the Walmart exclusive, AKA Dinobot Striker or Beast Wars Dinobot. Uh, Razorback. So there he is. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, uh, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely check out uh, Sport and Morton's toys, uh, vintage Transformers, and more. Buy something from him. He's a great guy. Good price, fast shipping, and obviously the figure is in great shape. So again, thanks for watching, and look for more videos in the future.